So we are doing a review on a microphone kit. This is a tabletop microphone kit and they're claiming it's designed for gamers. So if you're a gamer, you might want to watch this video. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're a gamer or, or what. If you're into recording and you want a good microphone, this could be the baby for you. This, at the time of making this video, costs around about £39. And as always, I will stick a link in the video description. In case you want to go and check it out uh, like i said this is a tabletop one so it sits on the table and it does have anti-vibration or anti-vibration noise reduction basically what it means is if i tap on the table like that it will try and reduce that noise it won't stop it and i've not found a microphone that can actually stop that so if you tap it doesn't matter how much it costs i've never found a microphone that will stop that even that even on a setup like that, it will still pick up vibration. So don't expect it not to pick up vibration. It will just try and reduce it. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to do the unboxing like I always do. See exactly what you get for your money. It's supposed to be plug and play, so we should be able to just plug it in. And hopefully Windows will recognise it straight away. And then we're going to have a look around it. And also we're going to give it a proper test. So once I start testing it, I will not be using my wireless microphone. I will be using this to do the voice recording. So with that, let's get on with the unboxing, shall we? Right, let's have a quick look around the box then. So it's sold by a company called Vigu, and it's a condenser microphone, and it's a VM30. And support, if you need support, you have an email address and their website. Have a look on the side usb condenser microphone made in china cordial pattern basically it's you've got to have it in the right direction otherwise it might not pick you up or it won't pick you up very clearly plug and play like i said earlier and clear sound hopefully it's nice and clear just their name on the side and what do we have on the back some information on the back that i'm not going to read out what i'll do is i'll zoom in right now you need to pause it if you want to read it. Okay, so let's get it open, shall we? So, instruction manual, and that's quite thick. I'm guessing it's multilingo. Yes, multilingo. Which I might have a read of later. Nicely packaged, by the way. Uh, not sure what, what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be elastic band, which is broken. So nice long uh, USB lead, so that is USB type C. Oh right, it's got two, that's unusual. So we have a USB type C on one end and a USB on the other end or a USB type C. So you add the option for connectivity, which I thought, yeah, that's really good actually. Nice long lead, I will have a measure up because I'm sure there'll be someone out there that says, how long is it, Yorkie? So I will have a measure up for you as soon as I can. Get her out. Is this the saint in the box? Is that just no? That's it. So that is everything in the in the box. So it comes with its own little tripod, which you can you can take off of there if you need to. So that would sit something like that, and then that would face you like that. So let's have a quick look around. So we have so we have a USB Type C connection now. A 2.5 millimeter jack plug for headphones and volume control and that will probably be for your headphones i'm guessing i'll probably believe right anyway uh, a mute button yeah so you've got a little mute button there's a light there so i'm guessing that's a light for when you've muted it their name vigu and that's about it looks quite nice actually i do like the black and red that does look very nice let me know in the comments whether you like it, black and red. I like it, I think it's very nice. Oh, that's adjustable. Oh yeah, that is adjustable actually. Or does that just pop out? Ah, so you can remove this if you want. Right, I see. So if you don't want that on, which I suggest you do, because that's a pop filter, I suggest you leave it on. If you don't know what a pop filter is, it is basically... When you pronounce your P's and the B's, there's like a pop sound, and that's that is designed to try and reduce that. 
So easy to change the angle of the dangle, or even easier if you undo that. But that that set up about right. I would imagine you'd want it something like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a measure up of the cable, tell you exactly how long that is, or approximately. Have a quick reading instructions just in case I need to read anything, you know, in case I missed something and you need to know. And then I'm going to plug her in and give her a proper test. So I will be back. Right, I've had a quick measure up and that is just over two metres long, or at least two metres long. So perfect length in my opinion. So with that, let me set her up and we will start using this to do the actual vocals. Right, she's all plugged in, and yes, it was just plug and play, and it's all set up, and we are actually using it now, just to prove the point. Can you hear that? So we are using it. Also, I did have a listen to it already. I've had a listen to it for the speakers, and also I plugged in the jack plug connection of my headphones into the actual microphone itself, and had a listen to it with headphones, and it did sound a bit hissy through my headphones. But they're only designed, or the sound on there is only really for you to make sure you get a fine adjustment on setting it all up. So, you know, once it's all set up, you shouldn't be using that. You should be using your speakers or, you know, or headphones plugged into your PC. Because it's never going to be a fantastic sound plugging in your jack connection into there for your headphones. It's just basically to give you an idea of what you sound like, you know, whether you whether the mic's picking you up or not that's all it's really designed to do so like i said i've had to listen to it and i've had to listen to it through the speakers and it sounds actually it sounds pretty good i was quite impressed actually i was expecting a lot more background noise and i did say about banging on the table didn't i yeah it will pick it up because the sound is, is in front of the microphone anyway even though it's tilted up it's still going to pick that up and also if you're at the keyboard you can hear that and like i said i've not had any microphone yet where it doesn't pick up my keyboard because my keyboard is quite loud and also when i bang on tables again it's also quite loud one of the things to bear in mind if you rattle the actual cable the usb cable this baby here it will probably pick that up as well because it's connected to the actual microphone so I suggest that once you've set it all up, you make sure the cable's out of the way so you don't interfere with it and you don't get no interference. But quality wise, let me know in the comments what you think. I've already had to listen, like I said earlier, and for the amount of money it costs, I was really surprised how good it is. It has a little light on it, like I showed you earlier. I said, look, it's got a little light, so it's got a little light. So if I mute it, it it goes blue so what do i think me personally i think it looks really nice and it works it does pretty good sound i think on recording yes definitely gets my thumbs up for the amount of money it costs let me know what you think whether you think the sound quality is very good like i said if you move the cable about that will interfere with the microphone so i suggest you leave that alone if you play about keyboards and you have a noisy keyboard like this Again, it will be picked up, so you might want to use a quieter keyboard. Like this little baby I've got over here. This one here is quite a quiet keyboard, this one. So you might want to think about using something like that instead. But, like I said, for the amount of money it costs, it definitely gets my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think it's well worth the money. So with that, easier set up, by the way. Very easy, plug and play, just like it said. The only thing it did, the only thing I had to change, I should say, is it set my speakers to the headphone socket. So I just had to change it back to my speakers because I prefer my speakers to the headphone socket, okay? Something to bear in mind. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, well worth the money.